Charles Wallacher here, and hello watch collectors, watch fans, luxury watch aficionados, horologists. The reason why I give you those titles is because, by God, you must love watches if you're watching one minute of this video. Honestly speaking, this is some true watch nerd shit. I must be the king watch nerd because this is my second time traveling here and doing this video for you. The National Watch and Clock Museum is set in Columbia, Pennsylvania, a sleepy town outside of York, Pennsylvania. Where's York, Pennsylvania? Exactly. Nonetheless, this is a watch fans mecca, in the U.S. that is. And I ask all of you to please support this place. Starting out, this place is mostly clocks, old clocks, grandfathers, cuckoo, and marine chronometers, etc., etc., but to get an understanding of watches, you have to go back in time before wristwatches. It's a museum. That is what museums do. It's a physical depiction of the past. But from views I've got from the first video I did, you don't give a damn about that. You want to see watches. Okay, okay. But before we get to watches, I do want to show you a few exhibits I think you may like. Here is the current star of the museum. It's the Engel clock, which its maker, Stephen Engel, called the eighth wonder of the world. This showpiece is over 240 years old. Unlike last time, we were able to go in the back and see the inner workings and the levers and gears and everything else of this monstrosity. It was amazing. So anytime you go to a museum, you will see beautiful artistry. And you can't have beautiful artistry without naked women. Also, when you go back in time, you also see the mistakes. Why the hell would someone put a clock on a steering wheel? Although this was the days of no seat belts. All right, all right, here you go. Here are some watches. Fine handmade timepieces. What? I know they're pocket watches. Remember what I said, this is a museum. You just can't jump into wristwatches all willy nilly. All right, here you go, wristwatches. Unfortunately, this is a very small section of the whole museum. Not to take anything away from the United States contribution to horology, but the brands that dominate the, the exhibit space are Hamilton, Boulevard, and Ball. RGM and Townsend Watch Company had a serious presence also, most likely due to proximity. These historic, it's historically American brands and the others are great but they aren't, they're not the amazing novelties that I was hoping to see or one would be hoping to find in a museum. There are a few famous watch brands and companies represented, but not enough. Honestly, I have seen more amazing pieces in Manhattan at the Breguet and A. Legge, Son and Hublot boutiques.
An example of what I'm talking about is my favorite exhibit from two years ago, the mystery clock and watches, which are all gone now. The whole purpose of my visit and your viewership would be to experience something that you could not regularly see that of course is historically profound. Not this. Although there was a new exhibit that commands some attention and I will have a separate video completely dedicated to it coming very soon. Well guys, that's it. Though I wish it was more to this museum, but damn it, she's the best we have here in the United States. And as a watch nerd, watch lover, horologist, and watch collector, I still enjoy myself. I think my oldest son did too. I'm Charles Wallingford, and this is how I spent my money. $8 on Groupon. <laughs>